Hey, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm here to demonstrate how to get elite crates without going through any of the red card steps, the blue card steps, or the green card steps. So it's just a really nice way of getting loot early game, and you can be the first to get AKs pretty easy on a wipe. So let's get into it. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Jump, jump. Oh my god. I gotta go. No, just stay here, stay here, stay here. No, I'm gonna die poisoning. It's okay, I'll fly back. The crates aren't even here. No! As you can see in this clip, there are no Sam turrets shooting down at us. This is because of a couple of reasons. They could have despawned, they could have, it could have been a glitch, or someone shot them down. Now, you might not get as lucky as us, but there is a way to do it with the Sam turrets as well. You're just gonna take a lot of practice and. You know, it's once you get the hang of it, it's not that difficult. Now, the first step in all of this is to get low grade and cloth. If you don't have this stuff, then you're not gonna be able to do anything, pretty much. Now, the cloth is necessary for repairing the balloon that you're gonna have to find, and the low grade is obviously used to fly it. You're gonna also need a hammer, so you know that's just a little bit of wood whacked down a tree or whatever. But once you find the hot air balloon, you're ready to go, and you can do this as early as five minutes into the game if you get. A little bit of low grade and a little bit of cloth, which is pretty much nothing. Now, it takes approximately 120 cloth to fully repair a balloon, and you're going to need it as full dura as possible because not only does it make it safer for you, but it makes it so your balloon's faster, uses less fuel, and you're going to need that in order to zoom into the launch site without getting shot down. I know this isn't a guide on how to fly a hot air balloon, but I'm gonna have to tell you guys a little bit just so that you know and you, you familiarize yourself on how to fly it. Now, you don't have to be a pro, but you have to know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're not gonna be able to fly it on lot site and you're just gonna get wrecked by the SAM turrets. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind while flying a hot air balloon is height equals direction. The higher you go and the more you go up, the flag's gonna go more to the right. So, the, you know, when you burn it, the more you let go, the flag's gonna go to the left. So you just wanna keep it burning, releasing, burning, releasing, so that you go straight. And you'll get the hang of this as you do it more and more, but once once you master it, you're gonna know exactly how to fly it, and you're gonna know that when you release and try to land, it's gonna go back to the left a little bit. Now, I anticipated this, and I was able to hop on here, even with a Sam Torres shooting at me. Now keep in mind that this was a modded server, so the loot you see here is not necessarily what you'll get, but the elite crates are the best crates in the game. So if you're wondering how do I get the best loot, I, that's that's where you get it from. Elite crates and hacking crates, but you know, it's really easy to do this strat. You just need a hot air balloon, someone that can drive it, and you can get elite crates all day long. I mean, as long as they're respawned. Now here are two things that can go wrong, or there are plenty of things, but here are the two things that I've noticed the most that can go wrong while landing on launch. One thing is, when you're going towards launch, you gotta keep the balloon driving forward. A lot of the time, I would drive it and be like, okay, it's going straight, I'm just gonna let go and prepare for the jump. But as you already know, as I've said, the height affects the direction. So when I let go, it got lower and went backwards. So even when you're getting shot with the the turrets, you're gonna have to keep going forward or else you're gonna <laughs> die like this. Now the second thing is, it's pretty similar, but when you're going over, I was, you know, trying to anticipate how to go to the right a little bit more, and I was about to clear over the place. Now, when I was about to land, as you'll see in a second, I, once again, let go a little too early. That's the biggest problem with landing this thing. You can't let go early. You need to get above it and then let go. As you can see here, I was like, okay, I am. I let go, anticipating that's going to go to the left a little bit, and I did go to the left, but then it went backwards because it kept going lower and lower, and because it went backwards, I was not able to jump on and ultimately died. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, sub if you already sub, and turn the notification bell on because I'm going to be doing a lot more of these types of videos. Anyway guys, I hope you see you next time, and peace!